Well, it's a phrase that South Dakota drivers are familiar with, but lately some of them haven't been heeding the winter warning of don't crowd the plow. According to the Department of Public Safety, vehicles have crashed into at least five DOT plows in the past two days. Four of the drivers were ticketed. Kettle has Perry Groton looks into what's behind this rise in crashes. Right there by that bridge, by Zagrass's pit. Getting hit by another vehicle is always on the back of the mind of DOT plow driver Kurt Tyson. He says his closest call was getting sideswiped by a semi. The truck never stopped. He busted his mirror when he hit me and he kept right on driving, never hit the brakes. Rear end crashes are the most common because drivers often misjudge the speed of a plow until it's too late. We travel between 30 and 35 miles an hour with a normal plow. So that's typically what happens is they don't realize how fast they're coming up on that on that plow that's removing the snow. The DOT has its own version of a blue light special this winter. They've installed flashing blue lights on the backs of some of their plows so they're easier to see to the drivers behind them. The blue lights just to try to change up what people are used to seeing and make it, the trucks a little more visible to the public. From what I can tell, the blue lights have really been working good for us. It seems to slow the traffic down a little bit. They, they think it's a law enforcement vehicle, so they're kind of respecting that blue light. The DOT says drivers tend to let their guard down around plows when the weather is clear and the snow isn't flying. Just back off just a little bit and, and give us the room and, and everybody's going to get where they need to go safely. In Sioux Falls, Perry Groton, Kello Land News. I've seen those blue lights. They are bright. And don't be a snowplow tailgater either. The Department of Public Safety says that drivers need to stay at least 200 feet behind a plow. Drivers should also avoid passing if possible, especially when the road ahead isn't cleared.